Come on, man. All you're doing down, is annoying right? me. I'm not calming down, yeah? <laughs> you! I'm scared of you. Okay, let's have it. Let's have it right now, yeah? I am Chucky, the Cobra Cobra. No. Pink! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Yeah. And there goes the, the corporate. There goes the, the wash. Cobra. What's going on, it's your boy? Sit up with the intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? <laughs> Hello, Gavna. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, the gentleman episode six, one through five, has been a absolute joy to watch. There's a link in the description if you need to catch up. This episode is actually called The Eventualities. Like eventually, you'll have to finish this and check out our review at the very end. We'll have a bit of a back and forth talking about the things we like and the things that we may be scratching our heads about. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, we have achieved the dooms, episode six. We have the, the dooms. Now, the pacing of this series has been really good so far, but now is where I'm expecting things to kind of taper off a little bit. You know, I figured this episode and maybe this one, and then we get the penultimate coming up next episode. So we'll see. You're the score. What the hell is that? Is that a hedgehog? Looks like a hedgehog. On the floor there, it's way past his bedtime anyway. All right. <laughs> You call it Milligan. Everything all right, you guys? Yeah. You were right, however, about Susie in the glass for me. Mm-hmm. You've got to leave it a couple of years. Underappreciated quality these days. Patience. Ah. Oh. Don't let them know what you're thinking. And meanwhile, Prepare for all eventualities. All right, Jeff. I'm gonna really start Good. paying attention to you a lot more, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff dropped, he dropped one of the biggest gems. <laughs> I'm gonna just slow play this. And I spent out different times. Oh, God, fuck me. Good morning, Is he trying to go into business Take with Jimmy? Are you ready to receive guests? Very much so. Jolly good. Because Jimmy still has to pay his debt, right? And come up with this new strand for the most yeah. part, right? Yeah. Well, they sit out here like audition. I think I may have made something of a, a breakthrough. I really think this is something that you should um, potentially take seriously. Is this is this him scaling his peak? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Maybe he didn't made a new hybrid. You mm -hmm. fucked it up. Maybe he didn't come up with a new strain. Take a seat, please. I mean, he he does no drugs. He does. Would you like a coffee? That'd be lovely. Ta. This cat and mouse shit that they do is... Business is good. Does that mean we've exceeded the threshold that triggers my exit from the organization? Hmm. Hmm. Well, despite you reaching the agreed threshold, the money can't be considered profit until it's been properly washed. Hmm. Why don't I fast track a meeting between us and the gentleman who washes my money? Her brother? Is that who washes the money? Huh. I was wondering like where his importance falls. Mm-hmm. So when are we gonna meet your man? Any time for that later. Chucky's not getting anywhere. He loves a good rock. I know exactly it's Chucky. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that dude's been in some other stuff too. Now that was a fucking masterclass. Mm -hmm. Never a dull moment when you're in that ring. It's his manager? Mm. No, that's not good enough. In fact, it's ridiculous. Suze, I love you, I respect you, I wouldn't lie to you, you know that, yeah? This is no ordinary corn dog. <laughs> Korean corn dog. Eddie, look, I can see that you're a bit dubious, yeah? And I'll be honest with you, brother. You got a weird fucking vibe. But that don't matter. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like this? Avocados. People right. paying top fucking money for something that tastes like licking a house brick. Are you mad? I sold him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there she is. My Stella. Huh? Brother, I don't fall in love. I'm not a pussy all you're aware of that. But this woman here. Uh, ain't that the brother's girl? Yup. She's the most beautiful oh. bastard I've ever witnessed personally. What do you reckon? Oh. Hello, where is she anyway, by the way? I'm gonna go get her for you, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> <Sue>. <laughs> you better not be doing what I think you're doing. 
Give us a couple minutes, Suze. Are you taking the fucking Suze? piss? Suze, where There's are you? a time and a place. What's wrong with you? Suze! That's not what it looks like, mate. Well, it's not what it fucking looks like. You motherfucker! Mm. Took advantage of my girl. <laughs> don't exactly. <you say> <laughs> yeah, why would you hit a boxer? Like, like, come on, all you're doing down, is annoying right? me. I'm not coming down, yeah? <laughs> you! I'm not scared of you. Okay, let's have it. Let's have it right now, yeah? I am Chucky, the Cobra Cobra. No. Pink! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> yeah. And there goes the, the corporate. There goes the, corporate the wash. Cobra. Excuse me, glass. You can go and fuck yourself, yeah? I'm not cleaning nothing for you. We are done, wankers. Mm. Well, that went well. I'll leave him to call his jets and I'll arm the situation. That works out for Susie, though. We've gone from two months to four months. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. She put it on me big time. So, we're gonna go for a drink then, or what? He's like, whatever to it. Look at this. Yep. She got her own Freddy. She, yep. Okay. Look at him. Magnificent specimen. who would he actually call it so him for a favor? If you're looking for a dog with six dicks, he's your specimen. <laughs> <laughs> you were with Chucky before then? Well, I never mentioned Chucky. Mm. Well, he wouldn't be my first choice, if you know what I mean. Mm. He wouldn't be my second choice either. Do you know anyone more appropriate? No, I know a lot of people, Eddie. No, you don't know that dude at all. This, to me, is a game. Yep, Next. princess. Yep. Rosie. Oh, How are you? Thanks. Rosie's interesting to me because I don't know what her hustle is. Yeah. A little bit of us. Nothing. I managed to get myself involved in a situation I'm not being sure. Being this, she's a princess. Her hustle is just that. <laughs> I can't remember a single moment I've seen you ask anybody for help about anything. Mm. It's about our friend Stanley Johnston. With a T. That's why you wanted to see me? Well, nah, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, we can have a go, too. <laughs> I can help you if that's what you want. I should warn you, though. He's not a good person. Oh, that's fine by me. Boy, he, he takes stupid to a whole new level. <sighs> I don't know how. Because you think it's better being business with that dude than it is with Susie? Darling, you ought to talk to Freddy. His recent obsession with marijuana production. Marijuana. He marijuana. started talking to the plants, Eddie. And when he's not talking to them, he's talking about them. And it's very fucking boring. <laughs> She'd rather be racing cars. Chucky <laughs> mm -hmm. had a busy night in the world of social media. On site, smash all his nan's windows. Fuck him up. On, shot his on site. Whatever you like, man. Penetrate, penetrate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing to do is to allow sobriety to percolate then i'll remind him of how hierarchy operates Fuck. sweet uh, oh god between him and freddie being in the house yeah so he said all right yeah i'm staying out here in the barn like this, uh, the one and only it's an episode of rocky that's cool thanks man so what's this little project you've got going with jimmy <laughs> Well, first of all, it's not, it's, it's not just a little fucking... Mm, little project. The disrespect. See, what happens is, over time, the seeds start to absorb the properties from the coke plants, and eventually, voila! Crack weed. Or weed crack. What? Susie had Jethro killed. Who the fuck is Jethro? <laughs> you know what I think, Freddy? I think that you are an addict. What has that got to do with anything? <laughs> This is not a game, Freddy. They will kill you, they will kill me, they will kill our entire fucking family if it helps them get what they want. I'm not gonna change my mind. He ain't lying. Well, I'll speak for yourself, Henry. No, when you strip it all back, that's all that's left. Impulse, instinct, survival. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's some truth to that, some. That'd be cool, Henry. How much you looking to wash? 15 million. It's a lot of money. He's like, I'm Mm-hmm, that part. How fast do you need it? Two weeks. Oh, you don't fuck about, do you, Eddie? Like you said, impulse, instinct, <laughs> survival. <laughs> but I gotta warn you, he's the most boring man you'll ever meet. Eddie, meet Thick Rick. Thick Rick? 
Clocked up a level of debt that necessitated a sidelining crate of accountancy. Gamekeeper turned poacher, you could say. Hmm. Thing about Rick is he actually finds all this stuff interesting. Offshore, onshore, mitigation, amortization. I'm falling asleep just talking about it. <laughs> because he's too fucking boring. Like I said, you know, for me, it's all about the boxing. What about you, Eddie? How's this all sounding? Honestly, I think it sounds perfect. Yeah, you just making these quick, quick decisions, my guy. Like, I understand, yeah, yeah, like, you know, that's okay. being quick on the trigger, but goodness. Susie Glass, yeah? I love you. I respect you, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete all the videos. I'll get rid of all my accounts. Oh, what did she do to you? As it did. And he'll do it without charge, like a good boy. I am more sorry than I've ever been in my whole life. Mm-hmm. And he's the only viable option. Of course. Mm. Brother Eddie, Ooh. how are you? Yeah, good. Could you help me? Give me a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did she do to him? You were looking at me like I was a fucking numpty, isn't that right? That's all right, bro. Yeah? And as far as I can remember, you were very cynical about this operation. Is that right, yes or no? That's all right, bro. <laughs> this halal corn dog is going to be in your belly. Oh You're going to eat it because Chucky said... Eat it. <laughs> In the fucking car. Yeah. Okay. I'm on my way. I I know. I feel like he has a plan. It just seems like chaos right now. No, he's more interested in being a gangster. He wants to be Bobby Glass. After we wash the fifteen million. Let me ask you another question. I'm trying to keep your hair from getting cut the hell off. From the shit storm that was coming your way. One day, Jeffro was going to become a problem. So I dealt with it. At least she was honest. At least that time. There is nothing that I won't do to protect my family. Careful there, soldier. I can be nice and I can be not so nice. Black Mamba. An exceptional treat to see you again, Ingress. Pleasure, Mr. Johnston. Please. Ooh, it's just a den full of vipers everywhere you look. You what, four years old? Yeah. And he told me to eat him as old as I could. You did. Punched him straight in the bollocks. <laughs> he was five times your size, Jack. You had nothing to be scared of then, and you've got nothing to be scared of now. Yeah, that is definitely her only weakness. Do you know what I love about the British aristocracy? They're the original gangsters. Mm. The reason they own 75% of this country is because they stole it. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I may agree with you. But I'd prefer to leave the criminality to my ancestors. <laughs> and I've come to the realization that I may need some assistance in order to rectify the situation well and you've come to the right man mm. it would come with an element of quid pro quo <laughs> think you can get comfortable with that i'm willing to do whatever it takes mr johnston i feel like he's just changing masters and change it to a worse one it's about my brother i'm worried about him he's um he's behaving erratically he might be on the verge of making a big fucking mistake Mm, Fredo, never go against the family, Fredo. Mm -hmm. Just wondered if, you know, maybe, maybe there's another way around this. Because mm. let's face it, you and I both know this is a rough business. <laughs> not that I, not that I wanted to, not that I think it will particularly, but if it did, I mean, technically the whole estate would go to me. Mm -hmm. You can't talk with her about bumping off your brother. That's so over the top. That's even over the top for Freddie. That's my brother. Mm -hmm. And I would never go Can against my brother. My brother's him. an idiot. You might want to think about that. I, I, I can't believe Freddie would be like, I know he's off the hinge, but he would go that far to hint yeah, towards but murdering did, your own brother? Did he, but no, but did he really go that far? Because everything is leaning towards they're going to cut his fucking head off. 
As much as I've become frustrated with the Glass family, I'd like them to come out of this unscathed. Alive. <laughs> you have my word. As a gentleman. As a gentleman. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a shame, you know. I quite like the kid, actually. And sadly, he's connected to a bigger picture. Uh oh, is it sins of the sister? Is that what, is that what this is? Oh, he about to get drugged. This dude look like he got 40 pounds on him, man. He gonna mess around and get killed in the ring. Well, you multiply that by 14 and you're left with two and a half billion pound a year. Yeah, because they added two more farms. Once you've cleaned the 15, we're good. Well, I'm not looking to invest. I'm taking over. You're a boxing promoter and a money launderer. You want to stay in your fucking lane. Mm. Yep. I'm going to have my man kill you. Kill your dude right now. He kill got, your brother. You got your heart in the ring. You better chill out, Susie. Mm -hmm. I could have shown you the same treatment as I'm showing your brother. But out of respect, I'm making you this offer. The path of least resistance. You hand over your business to me right here, right now. And you accept my offer with grace and intelligence. You're going to give a, you're gonna give a head nod. Starting with the obliteration of your lovely brother. Yep. I'm not going to kill him out of respect for you, but I am going to hurt him. So you know I'm serious. Mm-hmm. Your heart's in the ring. Yeah. You need a very special kind of fighter, a ringer. The butcher there, he's just that rare breed of warrior. The butcher. His record might be three wins and 30 fights, but all 27 of those losses are fights he's thrown. Because the truth is, he's an unstoppable monster. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The ref ain't gonna Who help you either. See that? He said the ref ain't gonna help you either. Most these are happily married father of three. His love of chopping brass means that he'll do exactly as he's told. And he is going down. Mm. The chances are he'll stay down. You're wrong about me not knowing you. I know you're no Julius Caesar. And you have no idea about the river in which you have chosen to swim. Mm. Mm -hmm. You may have a small army. But I am the state. Mm. Mm. And you are ill-equipped physically, martially, mm. and intellectually for the fight you've mistakenly chosen to pick. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it? You're underarmed and underqualified. <laughs> Take the offer and we'll look after your bugs. Mm. See how you feel tomorrow. Oh, wait. I love it. Yeah, her eyes welled up. You look after yourself. She's like... Uh, what I see is scorched earth, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. It's going to be ugly. Ooh, and it's going to roll downhill for everybody. Everybody's about to feel this burn. Starting with this jackass. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Ooh, mm. that was a good one. Wow. Hey, they've been maintaining, man, with as far as like excellence and storytelling, it is, this is a very good series. It's it's giving me a lot to think about. I'm loving the infighting. I'm loving, I mean, I, I, I keep forgetting to actually reference the original source material, and that is the very first Gentleman movie. And how, you know, it's, it's a lot of times, you know, our hero's on his heels. He's trying to figure it out. You know, you don't know where the hits are going to be coming from, you know? How are you going to finesse your way uh, into some type of victory? Uh, and I don't know if that finessing is coming from Eddie. Maybe. Could be. He certainly has some kind of plan laid out. 
Could that finessing come from Susie? Just through through the through the lens of revenge? Maybe. We do see the setup. We don't know exactly what she is fully capable of. She even said it. She was like, listen, Eddie, I've only shown you one side of me. I, you, you really, you really don't wanna don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> and you know, and then there's also Mr. Johnston, who's interesting. I don't know. We still don't know his why, right? Like the the what the hell is fueling him to make these kind of decisions? And we see him trying to maybe finesse his way into some kind of outcome. Uh, this to me felt like it could have been a penultimate. It really did. It, it has a great setup. It feels like next episode could tie up all of these loose ends, but it's not because we still got two more episodes left. Oh, how are you feeling, Rakai? Uh, we are about to see some fireworks. <laughs> right. I going back to the source material, you know. Mickey uh, Pearson was the criminal that you loved to love. You know, you wanted to see him come out on top. You know, he was still in the Bush game and everybody was trying to finesse him and take from him and you wanted to see him win. I thought that um, our boy here, um, Eddie, was going to be like that character who we wanted to see win. Mm. But his ineptitude has taken me completely off of his team. I'm team Susie Glass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm sick of him being a dumbass. You wanted to play in these waters. Mm. And the whole time, you out here thinking you a shark. But you the kind of shark that goes in aquariums. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And not <laughs> the big aquariums, not the shared aquarium in Chicago, you, in home aquariums, my guy. <laughs> she's out here. She might, Susie might not be a shark, but she's a barracuda. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she can play in these waters and navigate and get just as ugly with the sharks. And you have completely misrepresented who you think you are out here in these waters. I'm sick of him. Um, and you know what? <laughs> as much as he's an idiot, I'm back on Team Freddy. Mm. Freddy just want to be listening. Like, as a matter of fact, mm. the only thing that really, Freddy is good at pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, there must be some kind of stupidity gene in that family. Um, and then a higher stupid in Jimmy. <laughs> um <laughs> And I would be completely Team Freddy if it wasn't for how you going to suggest, hey, you know, well, uh, knock my brother off mm. and everything goes back to me. Bruh. Mm. Fre Fredo. Fredo. You'll nev never, you'll go, never go against, against the, the family. family. Fredo. <laughs> just, ah. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like Susie. She know her brother's an idiot. Jack attack. Jack is a dumbass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're going to screw the girl of the dude who washes the money. Uh, like, dude, dude, you, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Killing me, man. Ah. <laughs> oh. uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, just, <laughs> that's all you can do. You just, you just got to just yeah. shake your head. Um, Look, that's actually a good place. Kind of like stick a fork in this. Uh, as far as the chat go, what are you thinking? How is this being set up? Whose team are you on? Are you Team Eddie? Are you Team Freddy? Are you Team Susie? You know, is Mr. Johnston kind of like pulling in, or or maybe even you know maybe behind closed doors there's a there's a there's a Team Jeff kind of thing going on as you drop that bit of wisdom. You know what what team are you on? Who do you want to win in all of this? If you've been enjoying this conversation in the way that me and Rakai chop it up, y'all go ahead be a friend of the channel and give us uh, that subscription. Give us a subscription, would you? And a thumbs up, because that's how the people know you did get what we're giving you. And if you want to hear a deeper, more in-depth dialogue, go on ahead on over to the Patreon, because me and Rakai, we about to jump right off uh, into the deep end. Uh, let us know the things we got right, the things we got wrong, and of course, the things that we missed. And if you want to get to know Rakai a little better, Rakai, tell the people how they can get in contact with you. On all social media, at Noop from DeVille. 
N U P E F R O N D A V I L L E, because it's all about this right here. Yo, I love it. Hey, don't worry if you didn't get all that. There'll be a link in the description, and we will catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care. Peace.